example, you know, you're looking for somewhere to move. First of all, how do I get to my job? You know, that comes with reputation. So you don't have easy access to your reputation. You get there. Next comes, you know, the internet connectivity. How am I going to find my job? How am I going to do my homework? How am I going to you know, get out of the bubble of my MC to where you know, I can search the internet and find Add to that wellness, which is a kind of catch off for everything from safety and crime to healthcare, just everything that you know, keeps you keeps you moving. Add to that education, which I mentioned before, you know, you want your kids to go to the best schools, you want yourself to be able to find an education to increase that mobility because education is really the key to that success. So those four pillars set the right turn to this possible ability to be possible. Basically, it's, you know, like where you can find the best neighborhood for you and your family. Yeah, and to further elaborate on the tracks, um, might want to put you on the spot, but recently there was a study that um, the Housing Research, the Research Center did on mobility within Lorraine County. And what was really interesting was the same, arguably the same um, tracks that we just listed were the same tracks that were also listed in Lorraine. So what that was able to do was say that, you know, this isn't necessarily a, a Cleveland problem. Like, I mean, it's regional and it goes through and uh, even with the national data looking at mobility, it's the same ones over and over again. People want to know, are their neighborhoods safe? People want to know, are the neighbors we're moving to, are they good for our, our, our children? Um, with respect to like school. So it, us being able to see these recurring themes, not only what we're going to get from the hackathon is something that's really going to help our region, but it's going to help a national problem as well. Because whatever we create can be replicated to be you know, continued throughout different states, throughout different regions, and hopefully the country at looking at ways in which we can connect people to the resources that better serve them. Um, I guess to uh, further elaborate, um, if someone were to move to Solon, Solon, albeit, is you know, a, a great community. Um, I grew up in Twinsburg, so I, I would know. But really, if you're out there and let's say you don't have a vehicle, maybe it wouldn't be the best move to move to Solon, where a lot of areas don't have sidewalks. So it's like thinking, like looking at all the variables at play that maybe we wouldn't really think of off the bat um, because we're not really directly in that situation um, and really educating people on all the variables at place before you move somewhere where it's absolutely visible to you how everyone's reading about how great of a community this is. Thank you.